Hey, is this the line for the new Ocular Thrift? Is your real reality so bad that you gotta drop a hundred bucks on a virtual one? Man, VR is just going one layer deeper. It's almost a certainty that we're already living in a simulation. How can you know that? Well, you know, when you tickle yourself, it doesn't tickle? That's proof. <laughs> but, but it does tickle. Well, that's because the technology's getting better all the time. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I can't breathe! Plus, this headset comes preloaded with Barntown XL, the latest and greatest farming simulation game. All the fun of farming without any of the actual benefits. But do they let you tickle yourself? No, Yo, are you kidding? We were just here for five minutes. Phew, I got this. Hey, Officer Murphy, is it? As soon as we parked, I said to myself, Beth, you better make a mental note of what's happening right now. Why is this? This isn't even the one I wanted. This is your fault, Beth. Inspiring. Absolutely. All the stress that she deals with on a daily basis, yet she still maintains grace and dignity. It's like Zen without the pretentiousness. And I'm usually a sucker for pretentiousness. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about the dad. This, see, and now you. Come that on. guy? Yeah, there's just something about him. Can't quite put my finger on it, but it calls to me. Link, what you got right there is a quintessential family man. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way anybody could ever. I would just be. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, this is my car. I'm tied down. I'm locked up. I don't make independent decisions, but my wife says that I don't. a family counselor dressed like a raccoon i'm a family man living according to a family plan i just found somebody's feces on my hand i'll grab a towel that's a monogram because i'm a family man i don't have a dream job Especially for little baby cats Notice that I didn't say kitten My wife says that a baby cat is something different I'm a family man And we all don't fit in a sedan My last child that's born of Satan was unplanned Please cut my best deference I'm a fan How does that sound? I think I found my calling. I want to be a family man. Uh-oh. Look who else has barn town fever. Oh, crap. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, Link. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Roberto. Link. I'm sorry I tried to kill you. No need to apologize. Robots do not have feelings. Oh, well, in that case, I'm sorry I wasn't able to kill you. No offense. No offense taken. Robots do not take offense. Emotions are a human construct. Roberto, why don't you wait for me at the car? The windows are tinted so you can play around with the USB port. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Calculating route to USB port. Is he gonna be all right? Oh, he's fine. Although, to be honest, he can be annoying sometimes. The only thing worse than hearing someone drone on about the latest true crime podcast is hearing an actual drone drone on about it. Oh, you're talking about Murder City? I love that podcast. How were they able to pack so much murder into one city? And that thing with the butcher? I didn't see that coming. But it is pretty stupid. I miss hanging out with you. Maybe we could meet up sometime. That would be nice. But it's pretty unlikely. I mean, we live on opposite sides of town. I rarely leave the house. And I usually look down when I'm walking, so... I can't really see it happening again anytime soon. Or we could meet up on purpose. Well, I think that does increase the odds. I'm just gonna get in line. It does, right? The odds increase. If we plan to meet up. Yeah.
just the color of her sweater? Yeah, nice fuchsia. B-E-T-H, Beth. Testing. Testing. I am a lady. I am a farmer. I am a farmer lady. I am a lady farmer. What you doing there? Oh, I'm just building my best possible self, a full-figured middle-aged mom. Huh. Maybe I should play. I could be an exasperated dad with a bald spot and a pizza stain on his khakis. Well, you don't need VR for that. You should just start dating Vanessa. Yeah! What do you mean? Vanessa doesn't think of me like that. Whoa, boy! I don't think you understand romance, man. Have you ever even kissed a woman? Of course. Both of my aunts and, well, my great-grandmother's more of a hugger, but I got really close once. Link, how do I put this? There are some kisses that no aunt can or should give. You're talking about an uncle kiss. Whoa! No. I'm saying that Vanessa is into you, and you should ask her out. How do I do that? Call her? No. Modern romance does not involve real-world conversation. It's all about the apps. You should just nuzzle her on Buzzler. Buzzler? Yeah, the hot new dating app that connects people who have known each other for years. Wow. How's it do that? Oh, you just pull it up, put her email address in there, write her a short message, and let Buzzler do the rest. What's the rest? They send the email. That's a million-dollar idea. Yeah! How'd this become a unicycle? Thank you. Enjoy your produce. Eh, this rhubarb looks wilted. I'll buy you up for 50 barn town bucks. Oh, come on, Earl. You know that's the biggest rhubarb you've ever seen, and I got a whole truck full of them. How does this sound? Hey, Vanessa, it's Link from this morning in the past oh, 10 years. that's not gonna work. Well, fine, what should I write? I'm not intimidated by you and your country muscles. Aggressive? What else? Take your leathery hands off of my rhubarb. I'm not sure she'd appreciate being called leathery. Listen, man, stop playing games. You either want it or you don't want it. Fine, I'll call her leathery. And shouldn't I ask her to dinner or something? Oh, no, I like what I'm hearing. How about... Would you like to go to dinner or something? Can you sweeten the deal? And possibly dessert? <laughs> that sounds great. Looks like somebody's having pie tonight. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It won't be better than my aunt's pie. <laughs> How did you get a dinner reservation at this place? Well, it wasn't easy. <laughs> I called them on the phone and told them what time I wanted to eat. And they told me that time wasn't available. And they asked me how many people were in my party. And I said, it's not a party. It's more like a date. And then after a series of back and forth where I told them I'm not taking no for an answer, they finally waved the white flag. And I scored us a 3 p.m. dinner reservation. You are a renaissance man. Welcome to Chez Slounge. Today's special is Branzino stuffed with escargot, lobster, and Kobe beef, all in a white wine reduction. Hmm. Interesting. What can you tell me about the grilled cheese? I can tell you it's on our children's menu. And does that come with tater tots? No. Mm, a side of the dinosaur nuggets will be fine then, and I completed your maze. Uh, I'm still working on mine. Link, what are you doing? Caressing your leathery hands? Well, don't forget my country muscles. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mr. Haney, there is no way that this tractor is worth more than 8,000 barn town bucks. Sir, uh, if you can't experience your virtual farm more quietly, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. No, you cannot talk to my husband. I'm single. I own my own farm, and I insist on taking this thing for a test drive. Okay, sir, that's it. You gotta go. It's got a sticky clutch. I'm only paying 7,500. You wouldn't treat me like this if I were a man. Why did we even march? Oh, you live in a house with a pool. No, I live in a pool house. I do have a pool table, though. Isn't that a table by a pool? Uh-huh. Well. 
Well. This is nice. Is it? I wasn't sure, but I guess I'll keep doing it. Do you want to come in for a nightcap? No, thanks. It's still daytime, and hats don't complement my face shape. It's fine. It probably wouldn't fit you anyway. Bye, Vanessa. Bye, Link. Can I help you? Oh, hey, Earl. It's me, Beth. The gal who sold you the rhubarb. I own the farm next door. Hey, Beth. That was the tastiest rhubarb I've ever had. Thanks. Um, this is gonna sound a little weird, but as a woman, I'm having a difficult time being taken seriously in the farming industry. And I was thinking if we could combine our assets, we could really kick some butt here in Barntown. So what do you say we get married? Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it? That's how you're gonna propose to me? This is a moment every girl dreams of. Do you want me to get down on one knee? It's a start. Beth! It's Beth, right? <laughs> yeah, it's short for Elizabeth. And some people call me Liz. Liz, huh? You're already full of surprises. <laughs> oh, Earl, not in front of the goats. So, how was your day yesterday? Really good. I swayed her shoulders. That's a coincidence. I just killed a cow to make suede. Pretty grisly, though. It does not peel right off. I gotta say, I think I'm falling deeply in like with her. Congrats, man. Well, I've got some news of my own. Last night in Barntown, I got married. OMG, who? His name is Earl. You have to put the headset on to see it, but the diamond is huge. Tell me more. He grows tomatoes, and he's everything to me. I am so happy for you. Pretty soon, the two of you are gonna be having babies. Well, get out. I peed on this stick this morning. I had to download the expansion pack, but I am totally knocked up. It's happening so fast. It's been a crazy two years. Especially because it's only been 24 hours. I never thought I was a mom kind of girl, but I totally think I am. I am so jealous. Maybe it's time for me to take the plunge, too. Oh, go for it. Don't overthink it. It's only reality. Sounds like good advice. Thanks. No problem. Well, I'm late. Earl and I have to pick out colors for the nursery. Go. Be in love. Oh, thank you. Yes, I just got engaged. He's a farmer. This is where it all started. It feels like only yesterday. It was yesterday. You may be wondering why I brought you back here to a locale that is so special to... Vanessa, I'm trying to talk to you. Sorry, it's harvest season and things are crazy at home. I, I understand. Rhett's also addicted. Speaking of addiction, I just can't stop thinking about swaying you by the pool. Is there any way that you could... Okay, I'm putting it away. There, I'm all yours. Well, I, I just think that... Our relationship is going great and... Sweetie, do you mind if I go to the bathroom? Sure. But leave the goggles here. Ah, oh, crumbs. Beautiful ring, sir. Oh, thank you. I got it at a place called the Black Market. It cost me one kidney. Good thing they grow back. Promise me you'll never have children. Okay. Uh, what? Hello? Honey, the baby's coming. Oh, wow. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm not actually... Well, I'm not ready either, Lamb Chop, but here we are! Beth? Is that you? Um, do I know you? No, me. I'm your husband, Earl. Y you know, we have a farm together. You're having my baby. What are the words I need to say to make you not hurt me? You could say I love you once in a while. 
Okay, lady, I want to help, but I don't even know what I'm looking at. Well, you better figure it out pretty quick, because this baby is coming fast. Okay, don't worry. I know someone who can help. What is it, man? I'm kind of in the middle of something. I got a situation here. I'm delivering a baby in Barntown, and I have no clue what to do. Well, I'm having a baby in Barntown. My freaking husband is not helping me at all. Well, don't bite my head off. Listen, we got to calm down. Both of these babies are counting on us. OK, put the glove on. OK. Glove on. And to measure the dilation of the cervix with your fingers. The only thing I understood in that sentence was fingers. Well, use them. Just put them in the baby place. They're in. <gasps> Wiggle your fingers. Now snap. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. <sighs> it's you. <gasps> I feel completely betrayed. You're supposed to be my friend. And you're supposed to be my girlfriend. And you. I'm sorry, I actually don't know why you're here. Me neither. Beth, you are now a part of this crazy polyamorous relationship, and the four of us are gonna have to figure out how to work together. No, I have a real life and real responsibilities, and if you don't give me my car keys, I'm calling the cops. <sighs> okay, fine. Hi, Beth. My brother from another mother is now my future wife's wife. I can't believe that my life has become such a cliche. I know this is hard, Link. What? No, this is not hard. This is actually very easy. I demand that the two of you break up. You demand? You guys have been on like two dates together. We have a family together, and things are just starting. Woman, you're getting too emotional. But she's right. We are too far down this road. We have a really good virtual life together. Well, I was hoping that we would have a really real life together. I'll admit, we've had some crazy times, and I'll never forget them. But I'm a dad now. I have to think of my baby. Well, all I wanted was a family of my own. Now I'll never have that. Hold on. I think that just might work. Go ahead, my rhubarb queen. Ask him. Link, Earl and I would like you to be our baby. Come on, baby, just latch on. You can do it. There you go. This is your food place. So what do you think we should name her? I was thinking Earl Jr. <laughs> that is so patriarchal. I think he should pick his own name. Babies don't choose their names. I want to be called Trench. Trent? Trench. That's not a name. If the boy wants to be called Trench, we'll call him Trench. OK, but it's stupid. The kids at school gave me a black eye. Why on earth would they do that? They said Trench isn't a real name. Well, it's not. Earl, now is not the time. Climb up and let Mama give you some love, honey. Ugh, boy's driving a wedge between us. Son, time for you to learn how to drive a tractor. No thanks, Dad. I told you I wasn't born to farm. I was born to dance. Dance? We've got 200 acres of sorghum to get to market. Earl, if Trench wants to dance, let him dance. Trench, dance what's in your heart. It's not even a name. I can't do this anymore. You're a mama's boy, and you enable him. What are you saying? I'm saying I'm done with this family. You two deserve each other. Do you think we'll ever see Pa again, Ma? I'm afraid not, son. Mama, I'm home. 
Strange, is that you, son? When I got the doctor's telegram, I took the first bus back from New York City. You need me. I didn't want that, boy. You got your career. The first male rocket at Radio City Music Hall. My success is nothing without you, Mama. You believed in me when no one else would. Oh, son, that's just a mama's job. <coughs> Here, let me get you comfortable, Mama. I just want you to know how much I... <coughs> how much I love you. I love you too, Mama. No, Mama, no! <laughs> you were the best Mama a boy ever had! <laughs> Why? Mama! You hungry? I know a place where we can get a 3 p.m. dinner reservation. <laughs>